Hello, everyone. Okay, if you want to text me, let me know you're on. You can, but I'm going to get started here pretty quickly. Um, so let me know. I'm going to give it a second to get started and get caught up. I'm getting some text messages now about those of you who are on. I know Kayla Connor is on, and I have seen other people say that as well. Savannah is on, and Jen Robinson, and Ashley Walden. That's great. Okay. Well, I'm going to get started here in just a second. I'm getting some more text messages now. Allie Ernest said here with this emoji. That was awesome. Thanks, Allie. And I have some exciting stuff to show you, so I'm really pumped. Um, so you're going to be really glad that you're on, okay? <sighs> All right. Well, I'll get started. So my name's Brittany, and I am um, the director of the Bombshell Unit, and you are a part of our soon-to-be national area. So I'm thankful for you for taking time out of your night to be on this Google Hangout. And I am doing some research. Well, when I say I am, my husband's listening to this too, so I'm doing this so that it puts a bug in his ear. But I'm doing some research, meaning he's doing some research to figure out ways that I'll be able to see you on these two. Um, I guess there's a new cool app called Zoom where you can see 50 faces at one time and we started this off as a Google Hangout where I could see you and you could see me and it was really cool um, but then we got too many people which is such an amazing problem um, that we had to move it to just you seeing me and I'd love to take it back to see you too um, so I'm sure he'll work on that especially after hearing this part of the Google Hangout tonight so thanks Jake love you um, but some exciting things that I'm so jacked up about so y'all know that you can earn some prizes right now and I know Ali explained this to you last week but guess what I have them to show you so I got these in the mail and I was like shut up they're even better in person look at these beautiful necklaces that have earrings that match that you have the opportunity to earn and so when you do 600 wholesale from now and it actually counted April so April May and June cumulatively you're gonna get this necklace okay and that's as soon as you do it, you get it, okay? So I'm putting some of these in the mail because we've already had some achievers. Now, you get to choose between silver and gold. And um, that's totally up to you, but we only have so many of each one. So at the end, if it takes you longer to get to that point, you're going to get what you get, okay? But look at them. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm so excited for these, and you have that opportunity to earn those. Then when you do your next 600 wholesale, so some of you are pushing towards star um, and maybe have at least 1,200 to do, well, when you get that level, you get the beautiful tumbler cup. And that tumbler is so cute. It's got glitzy gold and fun colors on it. And so that's at the 1200 wholesale level from April, May, and June. So all your orders in April even counted towards that as well. Then when you hit 1800, you get a pair of beautiful sunglasses from Mary Kay. When you do 2400, you get. Now, okay, y'all, we knew this was coming out. So we promoted this before. Um, we actually had it to show to you, but this is this beautiful rose gold Mary Kay limited edition compact. Is that not beautiful with a cute little gem on it? So it's the mini compact, but you know what we're going to do for you? We're not just going to give you a compact that you can order for yourself. We're going to pick something special unless there's something you want done inside of here. We're going to pick something special and we're going to engrave this for you, the mirror. And so that's really special. And that's at the 2400 level, an engraved rose gold limited edition compact. Then at the 3000 level, you'll get an embroidered travel roll-up bag. And at the 3600 level, a blinged out brush set from your sales director. Now hear me out. You get every single one of those prizes as you go. So if I'm you, my thought process is, how do I get to 3,600 wholesale orders April, May, and June? And take whatever you did in April and subtract that number and push yourself to order, um, to sell this product so that you can order. It was so cute. I got a text message today from Elisa Duffy and she was like, bet me that I can't sell 50 mascaras. And I was like, what am I, am I supposed to say that? But I did. I was like, I bet you can't sell 50 mascaras. And I know that she can and she will. And those mascaras are truly going to be the thing that take your sales over the top. So whether that's investing in them now, so that way you can have them and hand them straight to people for easiness sake. Um, or whether that be that you are going to purchase them as you go. Just be a smart business owner. And, okay, I couldn't wait any longer. Do y'all care if I show you some of the new product? I got it today. And I'm so jacked up excited. I just have to show it to you. Okay, so these are the new concealers, you guys. And you'll get to try these at your meetings on Monday in, um, in Columbus or Tuesday in um, Lima. 
or wherever you're located. You'll get to try these on at your meeting. And so these are the shades of concealer. So super easy because there's not that many, but look at how cool these are. It's um, a applicator tip to it, and that is the concealer. Is that not amazing? So you know, we already have amazing concealers. Now that we have such easy ways to apply them, how awesome is that? Then we have the under eye corrector. And this is the same exact applicator. Mm, sorry, they're new, obviously. This is the same exact applicator as um, you saw in the concealer. So it's really great, but what I love is seriously, this is like a mixture of the highlight pen um, and concealer in one. And in my opinion, I love the highlight pen, but I always had to mix it with something more like concealer or um, foundation. In my opinion, this is a standalone product. It is amazing. It definitely gets rid of dark circles, which is incredible. So that is the under eye corrector. Love it. Okay, next thing, lipstick. Y'all, this lipstick, first of all, let's just take a look at the packaging. Do you see? It's cute little hearts all over it. And part of the proceeds of this go towards the charitable foundation. It says Mary Kay on the side. But here's my favorite. First of all, the color. Is that not beautiful? But watch, there's hearts on the side of the lipstick too. Oh, don't you just have to have that? Like you're going to look so cute when you apply your lipstick. And it's such a perfect shade for summertime. And this is called Hearts Together. So I love that because we're throwing our hearts together for a great cause. And then there's a tone correcting serum. This stuff is the bomb.com. It's replacing our even complexion essence. Okay, now two of my fave, 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 faves. You can also get the mascara wands, the lash intensity sampler pack. This is like gonna sell you a ton of those lash intensities when you can use this at your parties and let them try it before they buy it. How incredible is that? And we'll tell you more details, of course, on your at your meeting. You'll get to actually try it because trust me, you want to try it. And then here's the cute little mini deluxe. It is none other than the lash intensity with a cute tube. Like, can you tell that it's like angled and stuff? It's awesome. Um, and the actual lash intensity mascara wand. And so I think that's so exciting that we have all these new products that are going to increase your sales tremendously. So when it comes to getting all those prizes, you want the travel roll-up bag embroidered, you want the um, brush set blinged out, you want the mini compact engraved with our special words to you, you want all the prizes, including these beautiful necklaces, y'all just sell these new products and do parties. Take these new products to your parties. I would not be scared to let people try that under eye corrector by just scraping it onto their tray and the same with the concealer. You're going to sell those products just by demonstrating them um, with your foundations. And I would totally do that. Break the rules a little bit and live on the edge and have those products with you. Well, I want to say congratulations to our queens of pace setters as well. Heather Jackson, brand new sales director, free car driver, was the queen for Lindsay's leading ladies. And she took away the prize with all the points that she earned from her pace setters program. Remember that pace setters program enters you into win um, $500 cash from either Lindsay or from me. Um, so, you know, it's not as big of a, a drawing as you think that it is. You're competing against just your units. That's pretty awesome. So $500 cash drawing. Um, and Heather got the most tickets entered into that last month, which is so exciting. And then my unit, Emily Harding was the queen. Congratulations to Emily. I know Heather and Lindsay were doing their date nights night and Emily and I did ours last night and had so much fun. It's been a blast celebrating with the pace setters achievers. I strongly encourage you because this is just a drawing for you to go through and just turn in a voucher every single week to get into that habit because you never know one ticket is going to make you a winner or someone a winner, right? So why not you? Why not get your pace setters vouchers entered in on Sundays? Just set a reminder on your phone to do your weekly accomplishment sheet and also your pace setters vouchers. So Okay, those are my updates. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit because I got a Voxer message from a director who's working hard towards being a Cadillac unit, and I so remember those feelings. And she was like, could you tell my girls what it's like to be a Cadillac unit? And I went through that process. But it really struck a chord with me because I was thinking about just big goals that my unit has stretched for and that Lindsay's unit has stretched for in our businesses. And I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you about stretching towards a big goal, okay? So... When you're going for a big goal, y'all, um, just 
know that so many miracles can happen. Right now, Lindsay's working for half million and your unit, Lindsay's Leading Ladies, is working towards half million and you need to do more production in the next two months than you've typically done, okay? And the same for my unit. We're working towards the trip to Rome, Italy, and we're working on being a circle of excellence unit in order to earn that. And we need more production in those two months than we've ever even done in one month. Okay, so we're talking big, audacious, bodacious numbers that seem very um, like hard to reach. And I remember uh, almost six years ago now, actually, we were in qualifications to earn our very first Mary Kay Pink Cadillac. And um, it was the last month, the month of June. And typically to earn a pink Cadillac back then, you only needed $16,000 worth of production. Well, my unit from January through about May had not done anywhere close um, to 16,000 consistently. We probably hit like 15, sometimes we hit 14, maybe one time we hit 17, but we hadn't consistently done it, okay? So we weren't really like on target officially for the pink Cadillac, um, but we set a big goal, just kind of like we are right now. We are going for a huge goal. And when I started to go for that goal, it really kind of made me sick to my stomach because I'd never been a Cadillac director before. I'd never been a Cadillac unit before. Some of you might be feeling that same way. Like you set this big goal of being a senior consultant or having a party a week or doing your power star or becoming a red jacket or a car driver or becoming a sales director. And you're like, oh, I just have this huge goal and my heart so wants it. But my head is kind of telling me like, ah, oh, this is a little bit more than I thought. And saying that out loud is a little bit scary. And so it got a little scary for me. I won't lie to you. But honestly, you guys, I wanted that pink Cadillac more than I wanted my next breath of air. And I want to tell you that you right now might have something where you want that thing in your business more than you want your next breath of air. And if that's the case, you know your why. You are sold out. What you need to do is just wake up remembering you want that thing more than you want your next breath of air because you'll work to make it happen. If you don't know what that thing is, I want to encourage you just to get into action, just to do a party, because at a party is where you start to build the confidence to realize the thing that you want more than you want your next breath of air. But I wanted a pink Cadillac more than I wanted my next breath of air. And honestly, I did. Everyone in our unit knew it. And Lindsay wants half million. And to represent her unit as top 50 at the seminar, in the Emerald Seminar Division this year on the seminar stage. And I want Rome, Italy more than I want my next breath of air, just like Lindsay wants half million as much as she wants her next breath of air. And why we want that isn't just because we want the recognition or the money or any of those types of things. What we want is a platform to be able to share your stories. So I was thinking through that. And um, it's funny because those last couple months, like I said, we had to pull, our, pull more production than we did if any of the months prior. In fact, we needed $22,000 worth of production in the month of June, okay? And, and that scared me. Uh, that was more than we had done ever. We had never even hit 20,000, let alone 22,000. And I remember going through June thinking, okay, it's gonna come, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. And I would recite Bible verses and think to myself, you know, my faith just has to be big because it's God who's doing this work and it's not me and I'm not getting the credit. He's gonna get all the credit and the stories are gonna be because of my consultants, because of my team, because of their effort. And so I went for it, went for it, went for it until it came to the very last day of the month, you guys. It was June 30th and I woke up and at that time I lived with my grandma um, because it was right before Jake and I got married and I didn't want to live month to month um, or in like renting month to month. So I woke up that morning. When I woke up, I had all these text messages on my phone and they said, um, Brittany, I don't have power. Brittany, I can't deposit these checks. Brittany, um, the the power lines are down everywhere. I can't even travel the roads. And these were some of my key players that were really going to help pull for Cadillac. And I was like, what in the world? Well, there had been a huge windstorm that night and it knocked out power lines and banks were closed and different locations were closed that we needed to be open in order for us to have what we needed to have happen for our Cadillac to be finished. And I remember I walked into my grandma's room and I started crying to her. I was like, Grandma, we're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Oh, my gosh. Like, nobody has power. I can't. We don't even have power. My cell phone won't charge um, because I don't have electricity to charge it with. And where am I even going to work? Like, I had this whole plan. I'm going to go work in the studio. And that's what we're going to work. And that's what we're going to do. And so 
And she was like, well, how far away are you? Because she, she knew how bad I wanted a Cadillac. Does everyone know how bad you want your goal? Like my grandma knew. I wanted that Cadillac more than I wanted my next breath. And I told her, and I think if it would have been like a small number, she might have just written the check because that's how much I wanted it and how bad she would have given it and wanted to give it to me. I was like, we're $17,000 away. And at that number, I think I had her. She was like, okay, that's kind of unfair to give one grandchild $17,000. Now, if I would have said two, maybe. Um, but anyway, she was like, oh, okay. Well, um, have you ever done $17,000 before in, in one day? And I was like, no, don't ask me that question. We've never hardly done that in a month. Not even one day, that's for sure. But that's not the right question to ask me. No, we haven't done that. And so she said, well, well, it's okay. I know you can do it. And just as sweet as she could be. And I'm like, ah. and I stopped crying. I don't know why. Because that wasn't really something that I wanted to hear, nor did it make me feel any better. Because I was like, sure, easy for you to say. We're going to do it. Okay. I didn't feel like it was going to happen because everybody was already texting me their excuses. But instead, I was like, okay. We'll figure this out. Went down to the studio in which we did have power. Praise Jesus. And you know what? People pulled through that I would have never imagined. Allie Ernest sat down and she, order by order, every single order that came in, she said, count on this much more, count on this much more, count on this much more, count on this much more. And she threw her heart over the line for our goal. And because of that, she had her very best month ever. And y'all, she told me something recently which really helped me to realize how powerful it is when a whole team works towards a goal. She said to me, Brittany, I don't think I would have ever earned a car had it not been for our big Cadillac push. And as I started to think through that process, I thought to myself, why would she say that? And the reason why is because maybe she wouldn't have known how to push. Maybe she wouldn't have known that having a goal so big that sometimes it feels like it can't happen um, can actually happen like it has for her and like it did for our Cadillac unit. Maybe she needed to see someone walking by faith and not by sight, living in their vision and not in their reality. And so Allie sat there and had the, the fun of what, helping us earn our very first pink Cadillac. And I've told her story a ton of times since then. There was a consultant in Hillsboro, Ohio, who had no electricity and she found a generator because she lived two hours away, hooked up a generator to her house, did dial up internet in order to get on Mary Kate in touch in order to order an 1800 order so that we could have finished a Cadillac. There was a woman who her bank was closed, but she came down to the studio and she said, what can I do? My bank's closed. And I said, can, do you have anyone who's going to, could give you that much money if you gave them the money the next day? And she said, I do. I have never really talked to her since then. She was like a little angel. I'm, I'm convinced sent to me. And I know she sold all the product because she had it pre-sold little angel, <laughs> seriously, a 600 wholesale personal qualified team member. Little people like that were coming in and making big goals happen. And that's what we need from you all these next two months. I want to tell your story, just like I'm telling Allie Ernest's story, just like I'm telling the girl from Hillsborough's story, just like I'm telling the other girl's story who had her grandma help her. I want, and Lindsay wants to be able to tell your story. We want this position and these outcomes, half mil for real, and the trip trip to NSC, roam in this area. We want those things to happen so we can share your stories, so that you can have your own best months just like Allie did, so that you can break belief barriers in your own Mary Kay businesses for yourself. Because what I've realized is pushing towards big goals like that help you to push towards your personal goals too. So what we need these last two months is you on board, you just sharing this Mary Kay mission. You know, maybe you won't do it for yourself, but maybe you'll do it for me, or maybe you'll do it for Lindsay, or maybe you'll do it for the women in our team that are pushing for it too. That maybe don't believe that they can do 3,600, but they're going to throw their hearts over the line and go for broke because it means winning as a team. So these last two months, we need that push more than ever. And will you be the person that we get to share these stories about because you threw your heart over the line? And y'all, it's not a production number. It's not like um, I I'm not saying Allie's number. What I'm saying is she did more than she's ever done before. She pushed harder than she's ever pushed before. So what will your personal goals be? What will you do to make your next two months the best months that you've ever had? How will it feel? 
when you can say that personally you helped us to finish up our best years ever and when we're standing on that stage knowing we're simply a representation of you will your heart just be beating out of your chest as you're watching that happen knowing that you made miracles happen for the power of the team I just hope you will and I'm gonna leave you with this story that I just think is an incredible story this story is called finish strong those are two words that can create a powerful attitude for achievement in life sport and business finish strong is more than a statement it's an attitude it's an attitude of believing you can do something and having the courage and determination to see it through here's an amazing story about facing adversity against all odds and still finishing strong on August 4th or sorry August 1st 1914, Sir Ernest Shackleton set sail with a crew of 28 on an expedition to the Antarctic. The mission of their expedition was to cross the Antarctic on foot, something never done before. Shackleton was a successful and highly respected explorer known for his faith, determination, creativity, and conviction. He was knighted for a successful ex expedition to Antarctica in 1907. In order to recruit his crew of 28, he took applications from 5,000 men. Many believe that he placed the following ad in a London newspaper to attract the applicants. While there is no evidence that this, is, this ad actually ran, it does quite appropriately frame the environment that Shackleton was trying to recruit for. Listen to this. This is great. Men wanted. For hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. <laughs> this expedition was going to be different than any other one that Shackleton had led. Five months into the expedition, their ship, the Endurance, became stuck in the heavy ice flows near Antarctica. It was not uncommon for ships to get stuck periodically in the ice flows, and Shackleton believed that the ice would eventually recede and free the ship. His focus was on the expedition, and he held fast on that course. However, over the next three weeks, the ship became solidly frozen in the ice. Attempts to free the ship were futile. At the end of February, the crew prepared the ship to become their camp for the remainder of winter. At this point, Shackleton abandoned his primary goal for the expedition and turned his focus towards returning to England. His expedition had become a rescue mission. By October, eight months after being stuck, the pressure created by the ice finally took its toll on the endurance. The ship began to come apart and sink, making it inhabitable. The order to abandon ship was given and the entire crew began to salvage as many supplies as they could. They took the sled dogs, food, gear, and three lifeboats and moved their camp to ice, to the ice flow next to their sinking ship. The temperatures were brutal, reaching negative 15 degrees on average. For the next five months, the expedition camped on the ice flow, surviving on what little food they had left. In April, the ice flow they were camped on began to break apart. Shackleton ordered the crew to take only essential supplies and board the lifeboats. They fled the disintegrated ice flow and traveled seven days by sea to Elephant Island. Elephant Island was a barren place to be stranded, mostly made up of rock-covered snow with temperatures reaching negative 20 degrees. For the next nine months under Shackleton's leadership, the broken expedition remained loyal, optimistic, focused, and faithful to their leader's belief that they would survive. Ultimately, Shackleton knew that their survival depended upon his ability to reach a whaling outpost that was more than 800 miles across the most treacherous oceans ocean seas in the world. Determined to save his crew, Shackleton set out in one of the lifeboats with five crew members to make this journey. The odds of making it were one in 100. Nautical scholars consider this journey by lifeboat to be one of the greatest nautical accomplishments in maritime history. Um, Shackleton successfully made it to the outpost and returned to Elephant Island with the rescue party four months later. On August 30th, 1916, after 22 months of being stranded on a barren rock in sub-zero temperatures, the crew of the Endurance was rescued. All 28 crew members survived the ordeal, and most are quick to credit the strong faith of their leader as the catalyst in their survival. What an extraordinary story. But wait, there's more. When Shackleton landed on the island of the whaling outpost, there they were on opposite sides of the outpost. He and his two companions had to hike over the mountains to reach the outpost. In 35 hours and sub-zero temperatures and without any hiking gear, they made their way over the mountains to reach the outpost. A few years ago, a group of climbers retraced the path that Shackleton took over the mountain. With modern climbing equipment and experienced climbers, it took 48 hours to retrace the steps of Shackleton, almost 13 more hours than the trio did 90 years earlier. Now that's what I call finishing strong. 
Oh, and I love that story. And I'm going to read a couple quotes to you. But the thing I want to ask you, and the reason why I read this story to you is they were quick to credit their the strong faith of their leader as a catalyst in their survival. I want you to know that you are the leader amongst this happening. You're the leader in the movement that we're creating to finish Half Million and to finish this circle of excellence. You are the reason why this will happen because you light yourself on fire and decide a goal that you want more than your next breath, y'all. It's finishing strong and figuring out what that thing is that you can be proud of and finish strong with. So a couple of quotes to leave you. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it. You have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. The road to success has no speed limit. You'll see it when you believe it. Even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. So you are the leaders. You are the catalyst in this whole national area, this whole circle of excellence, this whole half million dollar unit happening. It's a crew of 28 crew members that made that story true. And I know for us, you all can do the same thing. So I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll join us in figuring out what your go for broke goal is. I hope you'll allow us to t share your stories of miracles that happen in these next two months because you choose to live by faith and not by sight and pray fervently that God blesses your efforts. Make tonight great. I'm praying fervently for you.